Yo, it's Marty VR, and today we're talking about the Taxu X40. Now, I will want to talk about the Taxosis in a different video, but as of today, we're talking about this general VR haptic, because both of these together are expensive. There has been an announcement that the Taxu is available for PSVR 2 usage, and I've had a lot of questions from people asking me, is it worth it? Now, the usual VR influencer will tell you that, yes, it's $500 for a haptic feedback suit is worth it, and I'm gonna tell you that that yes comes with a lot of nuances. I got my tax suit back in 2021 and it was 500 then and it's 500 now. Now the prime day, the deal they do have going on right now is about $400, but it's still a lot of money for a haptic feedback suit that you may or may not use that much. Now, when I first got my suit, I enjoyed it a lot and I used it every time I played VR. But as time went on, there was times where I was like, ah, do I feel like wearing it? And I kind of threw it in the closet because I really wasn't using it that much. Now. Usually a lot of times when I play VR games, I'm playing contractors, I'm playing sim racing, I'm playing uh, just general VR games, adventure stuff, single player stuff. Not a lot of things that have that haptic feedback support outside of things like Blade and Sorcery, Battle Talent, etc. A lot of people think as a VR influencer, I play VR every day. That's not the case. Honestly, before this week, I didn't touch VR for like two months. I kind of play VR in seasons. I think a lot of people are like that. And some people will usually buy stuff like this and never use it. So first thing that I'm going to say is one, assess how much time you actually spend in VR. Now, some people only spend a few hours a week in VR. Some people spend every day after work in VR. Some people spend all day in VR. If you're one of those people, you got my respect. Because <laughs> personally, I can't do it. I need breaks. So assess how much time you're spending in VR because there's no point of paying five to four, well, 400 to 500 dollars if you're not actually going to be in VR that much. Now you can't use this for things outside of VR, but why would you do that? It just doesn't make doesn't make much sense. You might, it's a this, this is VR only for me. I'm just being honest. It also depends on what type of games you're playing. Me, I play a lot of Contractors. Contractors is one of my favorite shooters in VR. Shout out, then I just had a Battle Royale come out, Contractor Showdown, which is really fun. Now, what does that mean? What am I telling you from that? Basically, I'm saying if you're playing something that doesn't really need a haptic feedback suit, then don't get one. So if you're playing things like Blade and Sorcery every day, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Blade and Sorcery, haptic feedback suit is gonna hit with that. Battle Talent is gonna hit with that. Contractors, uh, I'm trying to think. I haven't heard of this suit working with any sim racing games. I've, I've not, I haven't tried that actually. I need to try that. But I haven't heard of it. So if you're a person who plays a game that doesn't have any haptic feedback suit support, then unless you're unless you're willing to try the games, then don't get one. I honestly feel like haptic feedback suits are for people who really want that next level of immersion. Not gonna lie, when it works, it works and it feels amazing. The most immersed I've ever been in VR was playing contractors with this song the Tactosis, and a lot of sweat in my Valve Index. Basically, it was a perfect combination of just fun, right? And you can also use this with the Quest headset. So imagine being standalone, you're still feeling like gunshots, you're feeling rain sometimes, you're feeling your heart beating in certain games. There's a lot of fun to be had with this. And if you have a PSVR 2, you also have the headset haptics, the hand haptics, and you have the vest. So you're fully immersed into the game. And that's really what the B Haptics Tax Suit is about. It's about that next level immersion. Now, the last thing I didn't bring up that you're probably like, he hasn't mentioned it yet, why not? And that's VR chat. If you're a VR chat person, now me personally, I'm gonna be quite honest. I don't really, I don't do a lot of VR chat. I have my reasons, I'm not gonna mention this video. And you can probably, if you know, you know, I'll put it like that. <laughs> if you know, you know, I'll put it like that. I don't do a lot of VR chatting, but the times I did wear the tax suit in VR, pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I actually enjoyed my time, right? And so if you're a person who does a lot of VR chat and a lot of social VR, you will love this. But people can touch you, it adds another level of touch and a kind of emotion to the game, right? And so you can actually interact with people and they can interact with you. Personally, I feel like the ultimate setup for a fully immersive VR experience would be if you had a tax suit, you had your tactosis, you had the face attachment, unless you don't have PSVR, and you had five trackers you really could make probably the most immersive vr experience maybe on earth but the thing is it costs a lot of money so really think about the things i've said in this video if you're a person who obviously has money to blow because vr is not a cheap hobby these things are expensive the headsets are expensive the accessories for the headsets are expensive so if you're a person who's obviously ball on a budget don't get this unless you're playing vr a lot and you're playing games that have the haptic taxi support support wow 
support <laughs> a lot but like i said before if you're a person who does not play a lot of vr and don't spend 500 dollars on something you're not gonna use silly duh but to me i'm honestly satisfied with my purchase the times i've had to play vr in this tax suit i've really enjoyed so if you're a person who is looking for that next level of vr experience don't go any further than the tax suit this is not a sponsored video by the way I wish I would have got sponsored this because this thing was expensive. I really wish I would have got sponsored. Be happy, hit me up. But seriously, for my PSVR 2 people, hold still. I got a tutorial coming for you and an actual, I'm actually gonna show you guys how the games run on a PSVR 2 with the tax suit. So stay there, it's coming. Just had a kid, I'm busy. That's why I threw this video together, just kind of give you guys this message. But with that being said, Game of Mario VR, make sure you go to the description below and check out everything you need to check out. I got deals. I got deals for you, man. Go go get those deals, right? And then come back to me and tell me what you bought because I actually want to know what accessories you guys are getting because I, I see you with using links all the time. I'm like, what do they got? Never tell me. So pull up to the Discord. There you go. <laughs> you see the transition there? Pull up to the Discord. Tell me what you got because I really want to know. But like I said before, when you with Mario VR, and remember, I'm just a dude with a VR headset. Peace.